3455. Hey, we're back. Jessica's here from the Artesia Chamber. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. So I brought a, my, my tea today. Yes. I it's... see that. That's a fancy looking mug. Yes. Graduating class of 2001, 20th reunion golf tournament winner. <laughs> I see that, Ken? I brought this just for Ken. That camera right there. <laughs> just as proof. <laughs> so, and uh, those don't look like something you can just walk into, uh, you know. Yeah, no, you, you can't buy them. Klein's Corners and find them in the stack of mugs and just buy them, you know. Correct. You, you probably had to actually win yeah the golf tournament there was this is one of four ever made wow collector's item there hang on to that <laughs> yeah uh, anywho how are you today Gene? Uh, you know i'm good it was uh we got a busy time of the year coming up and we're trying to get everything you know squared away and uh, cover everything that's going on i was reading the uh the roswell paper okay this morning they've got their um uh, They've got their uh, cannabis rules that they're getting oh. ready to vote on up there. And you've got that all over the state of New Mexico because uh, September 1, according to this article in the Roswell paper, um, is when um, the state is to begin processing cannabis producer licenses. Hmm. And okay. so all these counties and municipalities are trying to get these uh, rules. And it's kind of like the school board. It's like, well, you're the local school, you're the local city council, you can, you know, you're responsible for your zoning and all that kind of stuff, but don't you dare discriminate against the pot people. Yes. You better not pass anything that let, that prevents the pot people from having their stores, because if you do that, the full force of the state's going to come down on you. And so these city councils are like, well, there's really not a whole lot we can do wow. in, in all of this. So wow, it's kind of wow. like some of this stuff that we're seeing from the school board. And uh, and it, and it's all over pot, you know. Yeah, yeah. So. I hate that. That personally, that that has, come, like, our society has turned to drugs for income. <laughs> well, it's, this is not a new thing. <laughs> right, right. I I get it, but well. So it's I don't made know. It a little more we'll, prominent. Well, we'll see what happens here, but it, it it's getting more and more like our. Um, Aaron Irving and my our concept of propaganda. Oh yes, it looks like it's. Uh, it could st it could happen. It's it, it's a dream. It's a it's a dream. It's a dream and a vision board on your wall right here. Yeah, yeah. That, that uh, you know, they say you look at it every day. It could happen. That's why it's hanging in there. Yeah, you know. So, <laughs> do you have a vision board at home? Do you do that? No. No. <laughs> no. It, it's it can happen, Gene. I have a computer screen and a TV. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could have a digital vision board. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It's I, called Pinterest. <sighs> I wonder what the purpose of that mess was. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> uh, well, what's going on? Um, well, we had our see. new teacher breakfast yesterday. Well, how did that go? You know, we had, they had over 40, 40, um, yeah, over 40 hires, probably 44, 45, 46, something like that. Almost 50 new hires um, for our teacher public schools, and that's all staff. So we had sponsors, anyone from foundations to nonprofits to for profits. I mean, just kind of everything in, in between. Um, so it was really nice. And we tried to put sponsors that actually want to attend mm -hmm. you know that come to the breakfast that buy a ticket um with a couple one or two teachers this year we had a normally we'll have six to a table this year we did a little more social distancing with four to a table so um you know it was nice for them to be able to mingle and get to know some of the new staff and the new residents of our teachers some of them are new residents some of them returning some of them live here and just decided to just go to teaching so mm -hmm. it was fun yeah it was really fun it's our early I haven't gotten up that early in a while, Gene, I have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did they do one, you know, furthest away? Who's here from the furthest away? Or? That would have been a good one, but we didn't. No, what, uh, Mr. Knoll just announced each one, and then they had a little questionnaire mm -hmm. about, like, where they're from, uh, maybe what position they're doing, and then a little 
fun fact about each person, like something that's different or that they wanted to share. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there was one lady, oh, I'm trying to remember what she said, but um, dang, I can't remember what it was. She, it was like karate and yoga or something like that. Like, <laughs> those were her two things that she likes to. Wait a it minute, was cool. that doesn't seem like that I makes know, sense, does I know, it, it was kind of cool. Those were like the things that she's into. It was a little different and cool, but it was really fun. Um, there was one lady who she's like, I'm a, I'm a twin and I have twins. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was cool. So anyway, it was fun. It was a good time. I mean, it didn't last. It was just come in, have breakfast, introduce, say thank yous. And then we fold a little paper airplane, shoot them off. And then they take a break and they go on to their next meeting. So yeah, it was a long day. They've got their professional development stuff uh, going on today and tomorrow Mm because the first day of school is uh, is Thursday. Thursday. So you have kiddos. I do. Yes. Are they excited about school? They are excited about school. I've got one going into high school. So when we were gone last week, so we went yesterday, picked up her schedule, walked the school, kind of familiarized her with it. Um, it familiarized me with it too. <laughs> been over there ever. So yeah. um, that was kind of cool to walk around a little bit. And then, um, and then I have another one going into fourth grade at Yucca. Mm-hmm. So that was cool to see their new addition, state of the art. They, I mean, they remodeled, they rearranged all the classrooms. It looks fantastic over there. Yeah, so, pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Like we got to see um, where he's going to be in his enrichment room. They have a music room. Of course, their art studio is really neat. Like there's the the wall is glass and there's all shelves on the other side so she can put display all the art from the kids and you can just walk through the hall and see it um the music room was so neat they had like this the risers that normally like your you know your choir would stand on or whatever it's all electronic and it pulls out from the wall there's all the acoustic tiles on the wall i mean it just was really cool yeah and then of course fifth grade is in that wing too and they had like puzzle pieces for desks mm-hmm. it was really neat and so like four of them would fit together they're all funky shapes and then they fit together and make a little area so wow. i don't know just kinda different neat. and neat and fun and kind of like you're wishing i wish i would have had that when i was in school, i know. You know i know my kid's going into fourth grade so he's excited to see the, uh, have those classrooms next year yeah so. Unless they, unless they do a COVID alert and then all the tables have to break apart and they have yeah. to get six feet apart, you know. I know. So I know. Maybe that's part of the reason why they are designed that way. <laughs> so that they look cool even by themselves and then they can fit together perfectly later too. Well, but, that's kind of neat. Well, yeah. I know the kids were in school the last half of last year, but they didn't get to start the year that way. So yeah. I'm sure they're pretty excited about going back into school. So you have a high school aged daughter. Yes, 10th grade. 10th grade. So are you guys ready for all the... All the drama that that entails? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well... Have you given her the profile of who's an acceptable date? <laughs> right. Um, no, my husband is... <laughs> Have your shotgun there by the door? <laughs> yeah, he's that guy. Uh you know, there was a or, country song about that, yeah, wasn't there? Yeah, talks, talks a big talk about that anyways. Yeah. You know, he's the guy that'll walk to the, make, if a boy comes and picks her up, he's like, he better come to the door. I don't care. No, there's no texting you when he gets here, you know. Yeah. Comes to the door. Um, and so my husband's the guy that will like shake his hand and squeeze his knuckles super hard. And <laughs> what time are you bringing her home? <laughs> you know. Well, good for you. Type guy. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. So. Anyway. Well, hey, let's uh, let's take a break. Uh, we've got some news items here that we need to uh, get on the radio, and we'll be back and talk. Go down the chamber chat, chamber chat, and see what else is happening. So <laughs> you're gonna have fun this week. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Now for a 